Yes, boys and girls, we are back on the YouTube channel, uploading another video finally. Now, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently. Um, I don't know what I've been up to, lads. I've been ill, to be fair. I've been ill in the first month of FIFA. Um, but yeah, similar setting, as you can see, to our first ever YouTube video. Not the summer anymore. Can't use the sun for lighting, you know. Same setup, same pale face. We go again, boys. But yeah, um, as you can see, this is the third in the world Custom Tactics. Now, you'll know a few names on there. Anders Verge Gang, Fnatic Diogo, Foot with Ethan, just to name a few. Um, we was playing crazy with the team, um, but yeah. You guys won't be shocked at the team. It's worth about 13 million. So, you will say, oh, the team helps, etc. Of course, um, but I'm a pro player, so I do need to use the best players. Um, but yeah, I do even use these tactics on my RTG Xbox account, which I'm using for the E Premier League, which obviously we qualified for last year. Where's the badge? Where's the badge? Um, but yeah, it's been crazy, boys. Um, so yeah, there's the ranking. Here's the team we've been using. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. Even the likes of like Fred, Renan Lodi, that they're, they're all playing crazy. They're all playing crazy. Right, let's just get straight into the tactics. Right, boys, here are the four-two-three-one custom tactics that got me. So high in the leaderboards. I'm not actually sure where I finished in the leaderboards. As deadline day was a bit crazy. No one knew the rankings. Um, I think we dropped off a bit. But yeah, as you can see, we was third place with this team and tactics. Now, these are the tactics, boys. <clears throat> balance, balanced, direct passing. Now, I do like press off possession loss. As you'll know from last year, my old tactics, um, which done really well. But... I'm not sure. I think the only thing in this this tactic setup that I'd change right now is the depth. I'm going to try it on 100. You can watch me change it now. Um, but as I got third in the world, it was on 44. But the only issue is I'm always offside trapping. And on the PS controller, it's a lot harder. That's another thing, boys. We've switched to PlayStation um, for the competitive season. But yeah, let's just get into this. Players in box three. Um, I feel like this doesn't make a difference, really. I like to play really quick in attack. Um, and I don't have any problems with players, you know, not getting up the pitch or anything. Corners one. Now, if you've seen the corner tactic, boys, that everyone's been using, it's amazing. It's it. It's amazing, boys. <laughs> you just literally press A from the corner as the animation is playing. It takes it whilst the replay's on, pretty much. Um, it goes straight to the guy on the edge of the box. You just whip it in back stick. Free header. Free header, mate. Free goal, free header. Right, so then free kicks don't really matter. Do what you want. Um, oh, my bad. And then here's the team. As you can see, very pay to win, I must say. Right, getting behind, stay forward on Pele. Now, this is important because of the meta this year. If you trigger Pele with LB, just point towards Pele when you've got the ball and press LB, it'll start darting towards their goal. Then, if you play an LB, RB, Y... It can sometimes glitch the defender. Obviously, Pele's really fast. If you've got the likes of Mbappe up front, even maybe even Rashford, etc., um, it will work. Now, it's even better in 4-2-3-1 because they're in between the two centre-backs in a four-back. So, obviously, they can exploit the space. Whereas, if you're in a 4-4-2, they are being marked directly. So, it's a bit harder. Um, the wingers, the Lamb and Ram, come back on defence and then everything else balanced. Just come back on defence on the wide ones. Cam completely balanced. Um, CDM, stay up while attacking. Cover wing. Usually I like cover centre, but I'll, I'll just try cover wing. I think it's doing really good. Um, stay back on, stay up while attacking on the full backs. That's standard. Um, so that's the thing with this formation, boys. You can attack really good, but when you need to defend and just sit deep, it's really good for that as well. Um, obviously, 4-2-3-1 is notoriously the best defensive formation on the game, on par with 5-back, five 5-3-2 five, maybe. Um, so yeah, but if you can if you can create attacks in the four two three one, you're splendid, mate. Absolutely quality because it's hard to make attacks harder than four four two, um, but it's a lot better to defend in. Now that's literally it for my tactics. Maybe I can show some gameplay or something. Um, but yeah, boys, it's been quality. I'll show a pic I'll show a video actually of that corner glitch. It's not a glitch. It's just a bit of like a an exploit. It's quite easy to score. Yes, boys, this is just a little bit of insight and the corner exploit I was just mentioning there. Um, I'm going to show you them both now. Um, we'll get back, right back into the outro straight away. Um, so here's me on the edge of the box wiggling. Now we get to here. Now what I'm going to explain is a double A is really useful in this FIFA. Um, it's obviously a pass, which is just A, but if you do it twice, straight away, it does it in the air. 
Now, the, the reason these are so good is because of, like, if I double it to Janola, I can volley it, which gets more power than a normal shot. And um, keepers are really overpowered this year. So, a volley, more power, more conviction, more chance of going in. So, let's just watch it now. I've done a roulette, double A, volley. Um, I probably didn't need to double A it there, but I've just been doing it for every single one. It's the best way to score goals is FIFA, boys. Just double it, like find the extra pass, double A, goal. Um, as you can see there, I've got Kessie. I've just bought him post-recording the tactics. Um, but yeah, we're just trying him out. So let's see the corner glitch then. That's another way you can play um, in the 4 2 3 one. As you can see there, we give it to Janola. Let me just go back. Get a bit lucky there, um, but we give it to Janola, hold it up, bit of wiggling, play Mbappe for on goal, green, unlucky. But as you saw there, Messi was also on the other side, so you get both of them bombing up, and they also come back. Right, here's the corner. Press A straight away, back stick, Pele wins it. Let's play it again. So by this point, boys, you want to be aiming your analog stick to the edge of the box. You don't need to drag the small circle, which you'll see... Um, well, you know what I mean, the small circle. You don't need to drag that to the edge of the box. You simply just aim to Fred as if you were just passing it in open play. Um, you press A. He's switched onto Marquinhos by default, so he can't get to me fast enough. Um, but obviously, people know about this like corner. So if he did switch and go and mark it, you can just switch corner taker and then press A straight away again and it should work. But let's just play it from, from here again. So yeah, boys, you want to aim it to the edge and just spam A. And it sh sometimes does it when the replay's even being taken. So here, look. Straight away, how many bars of power for Fred? Three bars of power. Just aim it to the back post. You can see Pele making his run already. So he does that. Green. And then, yeah, that's it, boys. It works quite a lot of the time. It's the best corner tactic out there. So hopefully you guys use it and have success. Let me know. Cool. Um, but, yeah, boys, I hope you've enjoyed the tactics. And I hope you use these and leave a comment down below if it helps you. Um, but yeah, like I said boys, we're staying at West Ham, as you can see by all the surroundings. And make sure to give them a follow as well if you want. Um, also, yeah, give me a follow as well on all my socials. But yeah boys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it and I hope you use these tactics. We'll be back soon for another video boys. Come on, see you later.